hi guys in this quick tutorial i'll show you how we can create a multi-step form with pure net add-ons for elementor so this plugin is very powerful especially their form builder is very powerful you can actually create some awesome looking forms with this plugin and we will need the pro version of it there is a free version available but everything is adjusted to pro version so we will need this pro version so the plugin is not that much expensive as you can see it's fairly cheap compared to this other plugin but their form builder is actually awesome so let me show you how we can create multi-step form so this is an example given in this website this is an example multi-step form we will create this form as you can see in the first step we can choose this country let's say you can select multiple items if you want so let's say we will go for Vietnam and if you click next the next step will appear as you can see you can choose multiple options in here as well so click next and in the last step we can insert our fields you can create as many as step you want and everything is fully customizable with elementor so this is the best part of this plugin is you can design everything with elementor so let's create this form so to create this form first of all we need to create some templates go to templates and create some new section so if you want three step we need to create three section in here if you want to create four or five you have to create four or five section in here so let's go to this section and let's add first section so this will be section and create let's name it step one and in here we will insert our content that will be in our step one so in here as you can see we have a title and some options to choose our country so first of all let's add a title in here i'm just copy pasting this okay so under that we want these options to choose our country so to create this type of options select image select box we will utilize our pure.net form builder so let's add a new section in here and if you go scroll down to the bottom you can see we have a new widget group called PAFE in here we have to insert the field so that will be our field so insert the field in here so this field you can set any type of field you want so in our case that will be click on this type that will be image select so our select box will also have some images so that will be image selects so the most important thing to keep in mind is this form id so let's say in this case we have select we have another select and we have this contact form so all of this form is actually a single form so in here we have to keep in mind that this form id will be same for all of our fields you can name it whatever you want so let's call it multi-step so you have to remember this form id you have to use it multiple times let's just copy this and in our case that will be for the first step we will be we will use image select so choose image select in here let's give it a field id so this will be the specific name for our field so this should be also unique for any particular field so let's say country select this will be name of our field and for the image field we need to add the option in here so our option will be in our case that will be vietnam then put the new option in the new line so every option should go in a new line So these will be our four options for our select box and in the bottom side you can see we have an options to upload images so one thing you have to keep in mind so if you have four options 
you have to upload four images if you have five you have to upload five images so this step you should remember so let's upload four images for our four options okay and you have to rearrange your images according to your options so let's say for our example we have the first options we had was vietnam then cambodia then thailand then Myanmar. so this will be first this is the vietnam then this one then this one then this one so this image the serial of our images will be same for the serial of our options now click inside gallery and as you can see we have four options with exactly same image we have uploaded that's perfect so let's save this you can also change some styling of our option so i am just keeping it by default so now let's go back and let's create a new I guess let's let's create a new section and let's call it a step two so again we have to create our step two our step two was this one who is style would you prefer for your trip so let's insert a heading in here okay, so under that we'll use the same image select that was in here you can use any type of field in here for example let's use something else like field you can choose something like the radio button acceptance checkbox number date range selector anything you want so every options will be available so for our tutorial purpose let's just use this So again one thing you have to keep in mind this form ID should be exactly same as the form ID of this field. So this is a field and this field every field should have the same form ID. Okay so the form ID of our first field was multi step so we have to put the form ID in here. So this form ID links up with all of our fields so this should be exactly same. So for field ID let's choose destination uh, let's choose name it style and let's choose the options change the option in here so our option will be food culture family and rest so in here will be food okay we have these four options and we want so want to change our images so let's go to gallery and upload our images and let's remove this one okay so food culture family and relax rest as you can see our image is not changed so let's set this you can also make any field required if you, as you can see in here you can also add level autocomplete every common feature so now our second step is done let's go back and add our third step section is Step three. Okay, so for our third step, we had a contact form in here. So let's add a contact form. And in here we will add a contact form. So don't use the default contact form of Elementor. So we have to create this form using the SPOTnet form builder. So let's go to this PFE and let's make it two column. So for the first one we will have name, then we will email the nationality and the phone. So let's add the field 
and in here keep in mind give the form id so our form id was multi step so paste in here and let's give this field id to name and give it a level to your name you can also place holder so i'm just keeping it this as it is copy let's paste in here so this will be email and this type will be email your email let's duplicate this whole section in here let's say, say phone so this will be telephone number and last step let's add uh, something like message or something so this will be message this will be text area okay so make sure this field id is all lowercase okay so as you can see this is our form so we don't need an, to add the submit button so the submit button will be added automatically perfect so now all of our form step is done you can also add another step where you can show all of our information so let me show you how we can do that so let's add a step number four add new section just the four so in here we will show a quick look of our all of the information user have put so let's add and in here we also have another field available in this plugin that is called preview submission so add this in here and in form id let's put this form id again in here so form id let's paste it in here so now all of our four step is now done so how we can use this multi step form in our page so as you can see this is a blank page so how we can use this in our page so let's refresh this so let's say in our multi step form page or anywhere you want you want to add that multi step form so add a section and if you go to pefe you will see there is an option called multi step form multi step form widget so drag and drop in here so in here again we have to provide our form id so that is multi step nice so now we can add the step you want so we have four steps so add let's add the step one so you can name it what whatever you want so in this case there was no name but you can provide name like step one you can provide any title you want and in here we have to provide our template shortcode so how you can get this so go back your elementor template section so these all of our these was all of our steps so we have to grab this shortcode so for a step one this was the shortcode so copy this shortcode and paste it in here as you can see the step is now showing so this is the title we provided in here so if you want to def provide different title put this title in here so let's duplicate this in four times so let's name it step 2 and copy this short code of step 2 and paste it in here perfect so for a step 3 copy this one paste in here and make it a step 3 and for our last step copy this paste in here and make it a step 4 as you can see everything is now done so let's save this and see what happens and you also have some style option as well as you can see all of this style option is also available for button messages and other so let's check our page what happens so as you can see this our form is now showing and there is a button called next dot showing automatically 
so let's choose these options so let's make it thailand click next which style if you prefer so let's go for this culture next and it, you, also, you can see there is a previous and next button as well so click next and as you can see we have some form so let's add some name in here As you can see we, I have provided some dummy text so let's click this next step and you can see all of our information is now showing but for this Thailand and culture there is not title in here so how we can fix that we have to just add some title in that field so let's go to a step one and let's add a level in here just copying this test in here same for this next field as you can see it is showing twice so let's hide this level and also for this perfect so let's refresh this and now choose Thailand culture add some let's click next as you can see now our title is also showing in here so where are you where are you going thailand which is style you prefer culture your name email everything so there is a brief preview of our all the information you have selected so now if we click submit it will submit our form that's great so you can also choose what will happen if you click submit there are tons of options available as well so i will show it in another video but let me just give a quick overview so as you can see this is our multi-step form where we have inserted and there is an option called action after submit so you can choose whatever you want send emails when you just submit you can open pop-up close pop-up you can also in include WooCommerce with it so I will make a video of this so in the next tutorial I will show this another cool thing of this plugin is how we can create this type of pizza order form with this plugin so I will see you in the next video